a case study about decision intelligence. I'm joined by Luis Gonzalez. He is Global Supply Chain Director with Proximo Spirits, a subsidiary of Beckley. Hello, Luis. Hi, Bob. Thank you very much for being with me. So tell me just a little bit about Proximo Spirits. Well, Proximo Spirits is a subsidiary of Beckley. Beckley is a, company, a Mexican company. It has been 250 years in the market. It's the 11 generations of the originally founders of the tequila company called La Rojeña. And now it's a company that is integrated by several different businesses. It has been growing at a double digit pace during the last 20 years. And now it is a $2.5 billion company that happens to, to have ventures not only in the US, but in 85 countries. Uh, and in different categories of spirits, the high quality spirits like whiskeys, tequilas, rums, and other vodkas as well. And recently we have, we have ventured as well into tequila and whiskey celebrity, celebrity drink, drinks. So Luis, what was the supply chain challenge that we're going to talk about today that you faced? Yeah, as, you, as I have mentioned, um, we are a company that's been growing and not only through organic sales growth, but we are growing through acquisitions. So all of a sudden, we were facing with the complexity of an increased size of the portfolio in 85 different countries and having to respond real quickly, really quickly to the demand changes or the continuous demand changes. But at the same time, we're a company that, that requires long lead times and long, uh, big investments in order to keep our profitability going up. What, what's, what's the case in our case is that we have to seed something today that will be harvested in 2028. And then we have to be barreled and laying down aging for five, 10, 20 years. Right now we are sitting some whiskeys that will be, will be drank in 2046 and 2055. So as a result of that, there, there's a massive amount of cash flow needed to support of our operations. So for us, the speed in decision making, the quality of the information to make those decisions in order to support the future growth is really critical. So there was no way for us to survive if we continue doing the things that we were doing with Excel spreadsheets. We need, really need to get, create an automated platform to predict the demand more accurately. Basically, that was the original intention. However, we have discovered during the way that there were several other things or capabilities that we needed to implement in order to produce the real farm to glass and integrated supply chain. So what was required here was decision intelligence, which is a still developing area of technology and supply chain practice. So it's interesting that you were getting into this and realizing the need for it. How did you go about evaluating potential vendors who could provide you with this decision intelligence capability? Well, we were looking for three basic things. One, to have the capability to improve in the very short term our, our results in terms of forecast accuracy first, but then to in implement some tool that could be not only a solution, a module, a modular solution. We need something to create a platform to operate the farm to glass. So we were looking for several vendors. We have analyzed global players. We have analyzed mid-sized players. And we have analyzed, uh, let's say, unique players that, that play in very, very significant pieces or very unique pieces of the supply chain arena. So we have to decide between all of those players what, which was the, the best option for us that has to be flexible, scalable, and at the same time to deliver quick results for us. There were the three fundamentals that we were looking for. And that's why we come with AIR. Okay, so what was the choice? Was uh, Era Technologies. Era, era Technology? Era Technologies, because mm -hmm. actually what we have discovered is that not only they were able to comply with these three prerequisites that we have from our very C-level mandate, but at the same time they were as passionate as we are in terms of delivering short-term results, and they were flexible enough to deal with com companies like us that we not necessarily have the greatest master data right. <laughs> structure. You know, as a company has a result of several acquisitions, we, we don't have the master data very stabilized uh, across the world. So for us, it was very, very important to have a partner that could support us even to improve some other areas like master data. Okay, you've identified the challenge. You selected the partner to help you address that challenge. What was involved in actually implementing the solution? Well, there were three phases. The first one was the discovery phase in which they were mapping, helping us even to map our practices and the, the small nuances that we would have to face. It, it was not a, a let, let's say, a traditional implementation because in our case, we were going to start with the most important business unit that we have in Beckley, which is Proximo Spirits in the US. It's the biggest one, it's a $1.5 billion revenue business. 
that happens to be a very complex one because of the three-tier system. So predict the demand in 50 to states with different regulations has been a complete challenge. So they have started mapping that properly and they have identified the things that we needed to, to improve in our master data in order to properly execute it. But not only that, we have uh, assembled a team from commercial, from marketing and from operations to start collaborating at the same time and start creating the, the solution that will be implemented. And obviously, right now, after six months, we've been able to, to go live. You never know exactly how an implementation is going to go. What lessons did you learn along the way as you were implementing the tool? Well, I believe there were several valuable lessons. Is First of all, do not um, underestimate the the value and the power that you have in your master data. That's right. something that is a, a, one of the less sexy areas in supply chain. However, this is extremely important and you will discover several different things that will add even more value to, to the, any implementation that you want to do. That was the first lesson. But the second one is about the passion. The, the team has to be passionate about what they are doing because in companies like us and companies like Aera, when you combine the passion of both teams, you can create really great things. What we have discovered is that we not we don't not uh, we didn't end with a forecasting solution, but a solution that enables our business to make decisions more quickly, but at the same time to keep evolving along along the the demand and evolving up, up, along with the market demand trends and the market uh, challenges. Because mm -hmm. the U.S. is a very dynamic market for us. It has been instrumental to have a player that was so passionate as, as well as us to keep evolving the same tool. So, did the benefits actually meet your expectations? You actually achieved what you set out to achieve with this with this initiative. Uh, absolutely. In that case, uh, and believe me, I have implemented several different forecasting uh, technologies in the past, in my previous lives, and I can tell you that this is the first time in which after six to eight months I've been able to, to deliver the results that we have promised, and even the marketing and commercial teams have been able even to accept the outcomes of the recommendations that IRA is providing in, into the table now. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time I've seen that. So we are seeing already the advantages. And that's obviously uh, the, that's the baseline to uh, scale up the implementation across the world because it is right. not going to stop here. Right. Uh, Luis, what advice might you have to other companies who want to set forth on a similar journey in the search for de uh, decision intelligence? First of all, uh, first of all, I believe it, it, is, it is to explore things in a different way. Most of us like to define the problem since the beginning. But when you start with decision intelligence and start using novel technologies like, like the era is, is bringing to the table now, you have a myriad of possibilities. So don't close your mind to, to, to the basic or traditional tools because you start discovering so much, so much uh, alternatives, so, so additional alternatives that will help you to improve your supply chain. For instance, we have started implementing this knowing that we wanted to create a complete platform, but we have discovered along the way the power that connecting demand, supply, and the finance piece for the long-term planning could deliver value in terms, in terms of tens of thousands of million dollars. So we have discovered several different things, but it was a result of having the passion and the open mind to create something, something different from what we have even previously seen. Well, it's clear you do have the passion for what you experienced. Thank you so much for Luis for telling your story. I really appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. I've been speaking with Luis Gonzalez of Proximo Spirits. Thank you very much for watching.